an open universe. In an open universe, uh, one way of picturing the shape is hyperbolic. This is sometimes called a saddle curve. And so this universe uh, is curved two ways. It's got a curvature going that way and a curvature going this way. And that's one way of picturing an open universe. Now we've got a universe where the density is less than critical density. So that means that there is very little mass which means very little gravity to resist expansion. And very little mass to curve the space, which is why we get this hyperbolic uh, curvature. Because there's so little gravity, the expansion is never going to stop. So if this is a graph of the size of the universe versus time, an open universe just continuously gets bigger and bigger over time. So if you walk in a straight line, you are going to be walking forever. Um, recall in a closed universe, you eventually come back to your starting point. Open universe, it does not curve back on itself like that, so you are going forever. Uh, you'll never come back or retrace your steps. Because the universe continues to expand, um, over time, galaxies are going to be so far apart we won't see them. The only ones we're going to see are the ones nearby, essentially in our own local group of galaxies. So all other galaxies will be non-existent as far as we're concerned. Eventually all the stars will die, and no new stars will form because it'll, all the matter will get used up in stellar corpses. And so without new stars, it's going to get cold. It's going to get dark. So this is, fate is sometimes called the big freeze. So we had the big crunch for our closed universe. Our open universe, we ultimately end up with the big freeze not very pleasant.